Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello everyone. I am Cyber Grower. Thanks for watching my channel. Uh, so this is going to be a video that I wanted to do at least a week ago, maybe even longer. Um, so uh, as you know, if you watch my previous videos from St. Patrick's Day, is I have this little tree that sits in our front of our house, um, and we make little ornaments that hang from the tree. So it, Easter's coming up. I wanted to make some Easter eggs and a variety of other things. So this video is going to be about making the Easter eggs. <clears throat> So, uh, I'm going to start out, uh, we're going to do this little intro, and then we're going to switch over to Fusion. I'm going to show you how I made them in Fusion, and then we're going to show you the final product. So, um, I hope you enjoy it, and you know, I, I mean, obviously, uh, leave any comments down below that you have, but um, let's let's just get on with it. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. This is a blank design. I'm going to show you real quick how to do a couple different egg designs. So we'll start by changing our units to millimeters because we're designing for 3D print. We're gonna create a sketch here on the bottom plane and then do an, an ellipse. Uh, start at the bottom, we'll make it 25 uh, millimeters to the top, which is uh, uh, 50 millimeters tall and then 35 millimeters wide. So that's roughly uh, two inches tall and about an inch-ish uh, wide. Okay, we'll stop sketch. We will uh, create the part here, and we're going to extrude it a negative uh, negative one millimeters uh, down. That creates the base that we're looking for, and then we will here select the body, copy. Oops, we will copy, copy, paste the body. I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. That's number one. We will paste it again. And we'll make number two. So we're going to do two separate eggs. We always, uh, I always leave a um, one of the bodies as uh, the kind of base units. You can always uh, copy paste it however you want. So right off the bat, we're going to select this body here, uh, and then we're going to say create a sketch. So for this body, we're going to create some uh, kind of uh, uh, swooping lines using an arc. So arc point arc we're going to start at the top roughly right about there um, and make kind of like a little line there repeat the arc um, try to replicate roughly the the, the band and the, the diameter there uh, do the same thing and um, I've tried patterning this um, to be honest with you it doesn't quite work uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, so let's do that there. We'll do another one right about there. A little arc action. Um, you can dimension these using the dimension tool if you like. Uh, for our purposes here, where I'm just uh, showing you kind of what I did in a free form. Not a, lot of whole, not, a, not a whole lot of magic here. So there you go. So um, that's uh, sketch number one. Just uh, created four bands across the top. This one will select this guy. Do a sketch. Now I'm doing sketch individual sketches on each egg so that we can extrude them separately if we want to. But in this case, I'm going to show you a kind of a little trick. Uh, we're going to make a line straight across here. And then uh, another line straight across. Uh, we are going to dimension these two lines here, and we're going to make them uh, 2.5. Uh, because they have the, the constraint here, it makes them straight across. No, it doesn't quite look at that way, to be quite honest with you. Uh, let's see. We inspect this guy. Uh, 2.5, all right. So they're straight across. Okay. So let's go into sketch. Uh, rectangular pattern. We will select these two lines. Uh, we want one, uh, so this uh, first uh, quantity here is the left or right quantity, or the horizontal quantity, we want one, and then let's go with, start out with four, let's see what happens, and let's say ten. Um, so that doesn't look too bad, it's not quite so even, so let's go with five, and decrease this by one millimeter. There you go. Um, so four lines straight across. Uh, that's pretty good. So we stop sketch. Uh, so now to create the bands, which will be the second color of the print, uh, we'll just click create, select the bodies that we've created here, 
and you can see that even though they cut across the egg, uh, there's an intersection point there, and we'll go one millimeter tall. And so there you go. So those are the bands kind of cutting across. Now I found when I printed this, uh, it doesn't have to be a millimeter tall. Uh, you know, something, some increment of your print uh, resolution. I'm printing at 0.2 millimeters, so I would say 0.6 would be perfectly fine in this case. Um, I've also found that if we modify and uh, chamfer, oops, cancel not shell, <laughs> uh, modify chamfer these corners here like these guys, it just looks better. Uh, I'll show it to you and then, uh, uh, oops. Uh, control click that guy. We want that guy instead. Let's see. Do you select that? Yep. Okay. Now I've tried the chamfer one. It gives me an error. Okay. It, it's been giving me an error all day. If you do 0.99. Uh, it effectively is the same chamfer. For whatever reason that I've seen that's been able to connect the edges. So uh, that gives it a kind of nice smooth transition. It's no biggie if it's this big. i got to be honest with you, if, if you, pin, you print it, uh, these were 0 0.4 or 0 0.6, probably wouldn't be as big as of a deal. But uh, So that's just kind of a quick tutorial right there on uh, how to create some eggs. You can do some funky patterns, which I will show you um, in the final video. So stand by. Okay. So here we are. Uh, this is the uh, final reveal, as it were. So we have made, um, oops, dropped them there, um, four separate eggs. I've printed uh, the base on white on three of them, and then I'll show you the fourth one as the last one. So first one, um, first off, uh, so I think they turned out amazing. Uh, I, I kind of eyeballed all the dimensions, to be honest with you. Uh, but I, I, I think they turned out very well. So first one, right off the bat, um, let me put these down. Um, this is number one. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, uh, see that there? So it's just straight lines across, pretty straightforward. The egg is uh, the standard uh, 50 high, uh, 35 wide. Okay, so number two, uh, the, the, the curled one, the squiggly line one, I did with a... Uh, a blue PLA. Um, I think again it turned out uh, very well. I'm trying to find the right focus here. Uh, there you go, right about there. Um, you can see on the side it's got that little chamfer. Uh, it's very subtle, but I think it uh, it um, it worked out very well. Um, so that's pretty good. So uh, next one here we got the. Uh, the rounded one I did in, in, in an orange. Uh, it's very, uh, again, uh, very straightforward. Now I gotta tell you, see the little hole in the center of these little lines here? I don't know what's going on there. It didn't do an infill uh, for whatever reason. Um, let's see if I can uh, get a close up of that. Right about there. Um, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Um, but it didn't fill in. It's all okay. Uh, the very last one is the two color print. Um, I'll show it to you here. Uh, so what I did is the PET G on the bottom, which is that yellow translucent, um, and then the white on the top. Uh, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I printed four of these. Uh, the uh, I didn't have the Z height set properly and about Half of them, here, let me find them for you. Half of them came out kind of dorky. Uh, I, I would characterize them as a fail, uh, generally speaking. Let me uh, zoom in on these for you. You can see uh, not great prints. Uh, the, the hook there on this side is, well, completely and utterly jacked up. This guy is a little bit better. Uh, it's got this little burning here. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. You can see, see a little string. Uh, it's coming from the back. Um, it just, uh, it, they didn't stick. <laughs> um, that's that's my bad. That's operator error. I didn't get a good uh, first uh, first down layer layer down. So, um, you know what? For what I'm doing with them, 
purpose works fine. Uh, but I think they turned out amazing. Um, they, just so you know, so it's the Maker Geeks uh, white. Um, let me, I can't zoom in. Uh, so the Maker Geeks white. Uh, the, the blue here in this case is actually just inland uh, PLA uh, blue. Uh, not the magic there. It's uh, 110 degrees is what I printed that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, it, it, um, thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, thumbs up as well. Any questions or comments down below. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe. The little uh, yeah, the buttons down there. Um, otherwise, uh, we hope to see you soon. Thanks, everyone.